When I was the most happiest time in my life, when I was a child and I played and I had my imagination, I didn't have a care for tomorrow, only today. So if we go back in time and remember our mind, mind, mindset of living day by day, it will be, we'll go back to what we used to make us happy. And we were young, most of us were very happy, and most of us had vegetables, and most of us, our mom told us to eat those vegetables. Time passes by, and sometimes vegetables became, became canned vegetables, canned soup, because mom was so difficult, or too tired, or very busy. Or they just came out with the TV dinners in the 50s or 60s, and said, oh, I got you this great thing for you. It's a TV dinner. I thought a TV dinner was eating in front of the TV. So I went to other friend's house and found that they would put in the wannabe micro. <coughs> and then they would eat it. And I, I always thought that, it, even though they said it would taste great, it said like, it tastes like, like cardboard. So uh, a lot of people have a wrong conception of And then we had to become a, you made me think about the astronauts today. The astronauts, every time I talk about a vitamin, an astronaut goes up in space and doesn't have time to cook, especially because they don't take the wife. Usually it's a guy thing. <laughs> but in, the, in space, when they're lost in space, there's no dominoes. Coming. So they, somebody came up with the idea of making a, what was that famous orange juice powder? Tang. Tang, famous tang. And then there was the other one, uh, the one a day or the multivitamins. So they had to worry about cooking up in space. Take a, a multivitamin. And I guess somebody from NASA had a friend in a big company saying, you know what? There's something to those things about those vitamins. We can put everything in there. And we can make a killing selling vitamins. And they come with one a day, and then Fred Flintstones, and all these vitamins that would make people think that if I don't eat right, I can just... Oh, missed it again. <laughs> I, I can push a vitamin, and it will be great for me, and I can have everything I miss during the day, and still have my coffee, and my burger, and my burrito, and not feel so bad for bringing our vitamin. But yeah, people will find a way to make them feel inside that I'm not doing so bad, because well, we play the guilty thing. Oh, blah, blah, blah. When sometimes when we do the wrong thing, or like we indulge ourselves in some special food or ice cream, or nobody's looking, I'll have this hot dog I have in here. But uh, you have to be careful with, with cheating, because we start cheating and it becomes a habit. And a habit becomes a routine. And bad habits, bad routines start to take hold of you. until so there's no going back. So it's also, we can make these habits, or these routines, good habits. Change, leave that Snickers that you have in your, in your office all the time and put an apple in there and create the apple when I'm hungry. A doctor, a day keeps the apple away. That makes people think when I say that. So